welcome to Oakland. I'm in my storage, cleaning it out. And uh, I have a bunch of secret, unseen works of art that have just been marinating in my storage. Whoosh. Viva la mischief. Prof G Bhakti Shiva Shakti. That's Bhakti in uh, Sanskrit. How's it going? Groovy. Thanks, bro. This is Womp. W O M P. It's like the sound of a speaker. That's the sound of a lot of things. It's the sound of a lot of things. <laughs> exactly. Go back to this one. She's the Hindu goddess. And it says Prapji Bhakti Shiva Shakti. Bhakti is devotion. Shiva Shakti, the male and female principles of the universe. And she's doing a dance of joy in the name of Prapji Bhakti Shiva Shakti. Prapji Bhakti Shiva Shakti. This is the elements, fire, water, air, earth, and ether. And this is the sun and the moon, and then this is what happens when they like eclipse each other. It's like, it's like also like the right and left eye, and this is like the third eye for the pineal gland. It's being activated when the light and the dark are like equally balanced. And then all the elements are doing their thing. Whoa! <laughs> this is a. Uh, says Cosmic Comics coloring book. I just made a coloring book, so uh, I was just doing like another version of it on a canvas, exploding heart mandala. And then it has some Hebrew right here. It says Jehovah, and then it's similar. Like it's kind of like all the elements and all different ideas happening simultaneously. We got the sun and the moon again, and other little symbols hidden in here. And that's a symbol for Turbo Revolution. Some lightning. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this one, uh, some of these are still like very raw in their raw form, I'm still working on it. This is a real person, it was my friend, uh, she's like a shamanista. Her name's Alba Luna, or Alba Diosa de la Luna. She's like a, a lunar goddess. She actually lives in the Bay, but I haven't, this was like 10 years ago, so I haven't talked to her. But anyway, so she's doing like a little shamanic ritual with the sun and moon and the eclipse again. Yeah, sacred G. And she's got all the patterns in her outfit that are like reflecting her, uh, what's going on the inside is happening on the outside too. So she's like, woo, sending out rainbow, light body, love to the universe. <laughs> and like I said, it's a real person. She's an amazing person. This is another one that's kind of similar, like patterns and whatnot. It's a different, different version. This one's like, uh, let's see. Yeah, this one, uh, it's also like dimensions opening, exploding, the worldwide, original worldwide web of consciousness, and it's all happening at the same time. Heart, the eyes, the sun and moon overlapping. Whoa! There's another one. It's got some curtains, it's a letterboxed edition. And she's like in front of the screen and then he's like the man in the man on the moon or spaceman flying around in the heavens up here. Showtime. It's kind of similar too. This is like masculine and the feminine pr principle. And or it's like my mom and dad, just like metaphorically. And that's like me and that's my sister. And we're like looking at each other. Carnival ride, yes. Yeah, we're, we're riding on the rocket of life. 
and we're looking at each other like from the side of our eye because we both are like thinking about a joke like we're like you get it and she's like yeah I get it and we're both like okay we both get it we're kind of like smirking at each other like <laughs> like everything's funny cosmic joke I like the contrast in that one thanks yeah, nice. black and white this is a abstract soul sign I call it generic specific soul scientific and uh, it's basically correlating like the smallest things in the universe to the largest things in the universe Just had a conversation about that the other day. there you go atoms and solar systems and these are like the roots of the earth but it's correlating to like the uh, different uh, oh this is like uh, when, you, when you have a kid the, uh, hey, little dog. That was a little dog. Scientist. Film strip. It's a wacko. It's the universal Jesus right here. He's like atomically powered. Like the energy of love. Is like equal to the energy of explosions, but in a good way. It's the highest form of kosher right here. Jesus is the highest form of kosher, everyone. <laughs> okay, this is this is just something I need to barely started. This is my aunt. She lives in uh, she lives in San Francisco. This is my aunt. She lives in San Francisco. She's a flower designer. Her name's Kimberly. I love her. That's me. This is from like 2001. So there's stuff from in here from basically from 2000 through the present. It's my alter ego, Professor 8000%. Just a exploding universe. And that's my signature. This is also I'm gonna unleash the hair to match the painting right here. It's order chaos. And then I'm also correlating uh, different body parts to the universe here. It says Jangles. Jangles! That's my name. Legal name. This one's pretty sweet too. We got five different uh, archetypes here universal archetypes Viva La Mischief that's the spaceman she's uh, like Isis her name's Osira Isis that's the alternative Ooh -ooh. that's me Johnny B the Prof OG Johnny Boom the professor of 8000% it's a rainbow light body activation they're saving the world Whoa! through new forms of thinking and the imagination. <laughs> hey. Thanks. This one's make, making fun of like duality, but putting it like, this is like space and time. This is the heart, this is the mind, and this is uh, nature and technology. But it's like making fun of like, that those things are separate from each other. So they're fighting. And that's like the big bang, like bang space and time, universe being created, cosmic play. And they're not really like, they're just pretending to fight. They're not actually fighting. It's like making fun of all, like people are caught up in duality. So they're just making a play out of it. And this is the space man, a creator or space oh, so being. This, this painting needs to be uh, hung like a chandelier so that you can see both sides of it. Yeah, <laughs> so it has a lot going on here. <laughs> hey creator of the universe, or the Looniverse, depending on how you look at it. Welcome to the Looniverse, the Looney Looniverse. This is a work in progress as well. Um, I was at this festival in 2012 called Symbiosis, mm -hmm. and it was during an eclipse, and I was working on this there, and she's like the sun, and he's the moon. They're like waving at each other, cosmic love affair. It's similar to, like, sometimes they fight, sometimes they make love, Sometimes they dance, 
it's all part of the performance. And they drive each other crazy, but at the same time, they can't live without each other. She's all like fiery, and he's all cool and chill, and she's all like more dramatic, and he's more like comic, comedy. But they like balance each other out too. It's all part of the great love affair. And the same thing with the sun and the moon eclipsing in the third eye right here. What's up, everybody? This is super work in progress. But uh, they're just both from the moon, both from space, doing like a lunar dance together. That's all Baluna, the character before that's Space D, a Dio Spacio, or the Spaceman. <laughs> This is, uh, this is really old too. This is from like 2000 or something. It was supposed to be like combining religion and science. I call it soul science. So it's like religious icons, but but uh, he's an astronomer and she's a, a, um, a doctor. Her, her name's Why Doctor. Yeah, Doctor Evolution and uh, the astronomer Adam Univerci. I like how you so love the like, uh, door handle on here. Yeah. It's Adam and Eva, uh, A-T-O-M, yeah, play on words, Evolution, E-V-A, and Adam, A-T-O-M. So they're like, it's like a scientific retelling of the Bible, kind of, but mixing the two. And it's like their heart, the energy is the same as love is energy. And then... space, we're all space, made of energy and particles. So the negative space and the positive space are equalizing each other. And it says copyright God, but I don't know, that was supposed to be funny, I guess. <laughs> no, there's great humor to a lot of Yeah, lot I like of this. And it kind of shows that you kind of have to... It's humorous. You know, if, you, if you don't laugh at life at how amazing and, and broad and interesting and crazy it all is, yeah. you know? might be crying too though. exactly <laughs> you got to do both but uh, I like I think mystical and supernatural and spiritual things could also be they don't have to be twine. serious exactly everybody humans are always trying animated to, trying to put the duality into things yeah and, and really that's how we were trained mind. pretty much so now I think we're moving back in the other direction where instead of a game it's more of a play 